Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in today's episode I'll be showing you how to make sounds drop off based on how far away from the player they are. Uh, it's pretty simple, so let's get started. Okay, so to begin with I'm going to show you what I have. Uh, we've got two sprites, a green box and a blue box, one for the player, one for the emitter. Uh, they are both 32 by 32 and centered in the middle. I have one sound and I've placed the player object in the top left of the room, emitter in the bottom right. Uh, room width and height is 1280 by 960. I've also got a view, which is the same width and height as the room. Uh, because we're going to have the view following the player uh, because the player is going to be the listener. The listener is basically uh, what tells the emitters whether the sound that the emitter is making can be heard or not. So the emitter is going to be following the player. Okay, so before we get into the code, I just want to briefly explain what an emitter and a listener is. Normally, you would only have one listener and it's going to be following the player around or the player is going to be setting the position of the listener as they move around. And you may have one or more emitters, which is where the sounds are coming from. Uh, normally you'd have more than one emitter. Uh, normally you would just have one listener, but you can have more. Uh, for this example, we just have one listener and one emitter. And we're going to be making the emitter uh, the volume of the sound of the emitter uh, reduce based on distance from the player and to do this we're going to be using a few functions so in the create event of the emitter uh, we want to create the emitter first of all and it's going to be called s emit we're going to set up two variables so uh, audio max distance to be heard is going to be how far away from the emitter um, does the listener have to be before the listener can hear the emitter and audio starts to drop out um, so how far away from the listener does the emitter have to be uh, for the uh, volume to be at max so below 100 will be max volume uh, between 100 and 1000 will be a percentage between 1 and 99% thereabouts. Audio fall off set model is going to basically determine uh, how, the how the sound is affected uh, based on distance between the listener and the emitter. If you middle mouse click or press F1, I think, then you can get to the manual. You can see there is uh, four or five different settings you can double click uh, and then control C, control V into here to try different uh, settings out. But the one that I found works best for me for this kind of thing is audio fall off linear distance. We also want to set the emitter position. We want the emitter to be based on where the object is or the instance is. So that's why we're going to say S emit x y and zero for z because we don't want a z coordinate and then this function audio emitter fall off is going to tell this emitter to start to drop at 100 pixels and to be stopped uh, not to be heard uh, after a thousand pixels this value is the fall off factor uh, i've tried different settings different numbers and one seems to work best like uh, mess around with these with these values if you want uh, but yeah that's that's how to get the effect that we're, we're after in this example and state uh, for some reason if I try and play the sound in the create event sometimes it doesn't work I'm guessing it's based on like the uh, the creation order so all I've done is I've set state to zero and then in the step event We're saying if state is zero, then audio play sound uh, on the emitter, the water sound, we want it to loop. 
priority of one and then set state to one <clears throat> and then uh, in the destroy event of the emitter object we whenever the object is destroyed for whatever reason we want to also destroy the emitter otherwise we can cause a memory leak and we probably want to stop the sound as well okay so now if we check the player object in the create event uh, we just want to <laughs> we want to correct another strange thing that game maker does basically uh, if you have headphones or different speakers then um, the sounds coming from the left are played on the right and the sounds playing on the right are heard on the left and that's not what you want in a top-down game so this function and these settings will make sounds on the right appear that they're coming from the right and vice versa <clears throat> now in the step event we've got a basic movement code uh, we want to set the listener position based on the players X and Y. This line here is just so we can actually see the distance between the player and the listener, um, which we'll display in the draw GUI event. And these two, these three lines will make the camera follow the player, follow the player around. And then in the draw GUI event, like I said, uh, we're just going to draw the distance between the listener and the emitter or the player and the emitter because the player and the listener is the same thing really in, in this example anyway. So as long as you've got the emitter and player in the room and you've copied these six different events, then we can run the game. So as soon as we get to about like 9.50, I can hear it quite you know it's noticeable and the closer we get the louder it gets then this is the max volume if you move around then the sound is uh, where the sound is coming from changes and if you move away the sound also reduces so thanks for watching and i will catch you next time bye for now <laughs>